Top Cat here and welcome back to the channel. Today's bit is all about blowing your load with one pull of the trigger. We've updated our Celestial Nighthawk build to push over a million a shot. This exotic saw a 25% buff to its super damage. This is probably because Bungie were going to fix our kinetic surge glitching. They did, but only kinda. So first up, we're going to equip the Marksman version of our Golden Gun. It returns a quarter of your super energy on kills, and it's strong enough to one-bang champions at Grandmaster level. Its damage being a burst super makes it great for doing damage in raids and dungeons also. So this build is capable of running any and all content, and has quickly become a staple amongst my loadouts. I want to break down the damage first. Base Goldie would knock him down and Radiant will net you 608,000. The Heart of Flame perk in the Artifact will give you Radiant when activating your Goldie. This is really great so we don't have to pre-activate our Radiant to do that max damage. Bungie tried removing the Kinetic Surge bug. However, Times 1 Surge mod still pushes out our super damage to 675k. Times 2 Surge mods will give us 718,000. Times 3, however, does nothing. So Bungie fixed it a little bit. So at 718,000, let's call that our new baseline. Equip Revitalizing Blast in the Artifact. Causing damage with a solar ability weakens champions and bosses. This will now give us 813,000. Tractor cannons are pretty common these days amongst dungeon and raid teams. This nets us a nut busting 933,000. These numbers are just getting stupid. But somehow it doesn't even stop there. Heart of the Flame also buffs supers for each nearby ally. With a standard fire team, that pushes us to 996,000 damage. In raids, it'll no doubt even go higher. Now, the kind of downside upside is that we're locked into a times 2 kinetic surge. Izanagi is obviously a great choice. Sniper's got a 15% damage buff this season. My choice, however, was the Supremacy. With both Rewind Rounds and Force Times a charm, you can empty your entire reserves without ever reloading. So I've gone times 2 Kinetic Surge with times 1 Solar, and I've banged on the Whisper. It is feeling quite tasty now, I have to say. It suits those longer damage phases, around 30 odd seconds. In one damage phase against Air Ute, I knocked out 4.2 million damage. And this is nuts, because this is some of the simplest damage you can do. One shot, and just hold down the trigger on your sniper. If you don't like the Whisper, or you're doing a battle a little bit closer, Sleeper Sim is also a great option. We also get bonus super on every precision kill. So to buff our gunplay damage, we can use Acrobat's Dodge to give you and your fire team Radiant. This has a longer cooldown. So we are using Ember of Singeing. Our class ability charges faster while scorching. Knife Trick combined with your favorite solo weapon will easily get your dodge back in a third of the time. And Searing, when we defeat Scorch targets, we get melee energy. But more importantly, we get fire sprites every five seconds. These just give us a third of our grenade charge and restoration. Solace will extend our Radiant and Restoration to 12 seconds, and Imperium will chain both of these on our Solar Weapon kills. Now we have the strongest super around, and we can slay out with our favorite Solar Weapons whilst keeping ourselves alive with Chainable Restoration. There is a dim link in the description below, or feel free to just pause here for my mods. I'm pretty much running the Solar Tree on the Artifact. Be sure to hit us up in the comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I imagine this to be the top dog for quite some time. I absolutely love seeing these year one exotics making a comeback, and thank god I can finally take off the gathering storm. Make sure to thumb it if you liked it, sub if you're new, and until next time, 
tippy time, my damies. What a time. Bottom of everything, he's the most tip-top.